Hello everybody, and welcome back on board our survey vessel, the Odin. We're here today to show you the performance and the capabilities of the latest member of the Seabat T series, the Seabat T-51. First, we want to show you some data of a sunken barge. The Seabat T-51 is a true 800 kilohertz multi-beam sonar giving you unprecedented resolution and unprecedented clean data not seen in the industry before. As we are coming up to the wreck right now, you will see that we are running the multi-beam at 800 kilohertz with a swath coverage that is currently set at 135 degrees, giving us clean data across the whole swath. As we are coming over the barge, please take notice of the details of the bathymetry. Firstly, notice the chain that lies across the barge here. Secondly, notice the bollards on the foredeck. We can distinguish the pair of bollards. Appreciate that this is untouched data, meaning there are no filters or gates being used. Think about what this means for your data processing turnaround time. The CBAT T51 has the same form factor as the CBAT T50, but thanks to the 800 kilohertz option, we now get a half by a quarter degrees beam widths meaning that you can collect very high resolution data while not sacrificing the swath width. Let's have another look at the barge, approaching her now from the stern. Take notice again of the small chain going across. It is roughly the same diameter as subsea cables or umbilicals. This is why we think the T-51 will become very popular in the renewables market. Next, we want to show you another example of the objection detection capabilities. We are approaching a buoy and passing it on port side. The anchor block comes out nicely and take note of the many detections off the chain. You can also see the shadow from the chain over in the snippets backscatter and side scan displays. Let's now look at the frequency agility for the T51. Aside from the 800 kilohertz with full swath coverage, we still have the traditional 400 kilohertz. We have an operating mode of 800 kilohertz and we can select a center frequency of 700 to 800 kilohertz. You can select all frequencies in between that frequency range. We also have a 400 kilohertz frequency band. That effectively means 350 to 430 kilohertz. And that frequency band will give you the range performance, whereas the highest frequency band gives you the ultimate resolution. In all, the CBAT T51 is very versatile. Very high resolution shallow water surveys with full swath coverage and capable to move into deeper water as well. Extinction tests demonstrate that the system is able to reach depths of 80 meters at 800 kilohertz. The CBAT T51 comes with all the usual features that we have become so acquainted with. There are 10 24 beams. That has become the defined standard. These beams can be distributed in an equi-angle or equidistance fashion. And of course there is flex mode, offering both high density and swath coverage, a popular choice in the offshore market. The T-51 obviously also has our autonomous A1 controls. That is the button we have up here, Tracker. Tracker controls range, gain, pulse length, 
absorption, spreading, etc. All the basic sonar controls. With Tracker, the settings are automatically optimized for both bathymetry and backscatter. This is ideal for new users, but also think about autonomous scenarios when there isn't a surveyor on the vessel. Let's sail back into port and look at some smaller features. On starboard side here, we have a little bit of the breakwater as we enter the harbour. We can see some vegetation out to starboard here. It shows up nicely in the backscatter display as dark spots. Teledyne Marine. Everywhere you look.